Hi, yo then guys, and welcome back to another video, and it's finally happened. It's finally happened. I got the news, yeah, today at like 3pm, um, that Frank Lampard is now in charge of Chelsea. I thought it might happen, it was becoming more and more um, possible. So yeah, for me, once Derby allowed Frank Lampard to miss training on Monday and go out and talk to Chelsea and for Chelsea to talk to him, it was pretty obvious that he was going to accept and that he was going to become our manager. Um, he was a club legend. He played for us for many, many, many years. And if he can pull this off and be a great manager for us, wow. He's already a club legend. So if he manages to pull this off, it's going to be ridiculous. Now, there's a couple reasons why I can't wait for this. Um, there are a few questionable things, um, which I will get into. I'm not going to be one of those people that's just sucked into the whole, oh, he's back in our club, so he's amazing, um, and he will be perfect for the Chelsea role, and etc, etc. I will talk about both sides to the story. So personally, I'm really, really stoked to see him come back. Um, as I say, he was an amazing player for us. Doesn't necessarily mean he's going to be a great manager at all, but he knows the club. It's something more than Sarri did. It's something more than Conte knew. Conte won the league. Um, but it's definitely something that Sarri had no idea about. Sarri came in not even really being able to speak English and not having a clue about the squad or the club. And Lampard spent many, many, many seasons there and so knows the team the um, owners, the man, like just everyone. He's also brought in a ex-Chelsea player slash ex-youth manager. Yeah, so he's brought along Jody Morris with him, who was a successful youth coach at Chelsea and has played for us as well. I'm not too sure on his playing career, um, but I know he was pretty good as um, the youth coach. I'm excited to see what's going to happen here. This can only mean good things. He works with the, our youth. Uh, Lampard wants to bring our youth into the main team. That can only go hand in hand, surely. For someone that wants to bring them in, and then you have as your right-hand man, someone that knows them. That's going to be amazing. So to start off with, obviously we can't buy any players for two seasons or for two transfer windows. So for summer and January. So until next summer, we can't buy a player. Um, which I'm excited to see. I really am. It would be cool if we could bring in some players, um, but I'm, I'm excited to see what we can do with our situation. One good thing that I'm looking forward to is seeing, um, I think this is how you say his name, Fakayo Tomori. He was um, loaned out to Derby, the um, team that Frank Lampard has just left from a season of managing them. And he's um, he's been playing Tomori quite regularly. So that only brings hope to think that he's going to be put into, well, at least given playing time at Chelsea, which is going to be awesome. Another player who was on loan at Derby is Mason Mount. I can't wait to see him play. I wanted him to play anyway, but now the fact that um, Sarri has left, Sarri wasn't going to play him. The fact that Sarri's left and Lampard's in, and Lampard's been playing him nearly every single game at Derby, I'm so stoked. He's going to be playing more regularly, which is sick. You have Tammy Abraham, which... This is going to be amazing. Abraham has done such a good job at Aston Villa this year. Uh, 25 goals in 37 games. Now, I know that, that is in the Skybet Championship, but it doesn't make any difference. He's been smashing the goals in. He's been finding the target. 25 goals in 37 games. That's just 12 games that he hasn't scored in that he's played. Unreal. I hope that he's going to play. Um, he's come out and said if he's given playing time, then he will stay. He's looking to break out into the first team. As I say, with Higuain not being taken, which I'm very happy he hasn't, there is a very possible spot at striker position for him. Morata doesn't want to stay at Chelsea. He's made that very clear. He wants to go back to Atletico Madrid, which is fair enough. He's Spanish himself and um, he obviously played for Real Madrid and loved it in Spain. Although, could Lampard change his mind? I'm not too sure. Callum Hudson-Odoi, of course. he. There was a lot of speculation around him. Um, Bayern wanted him. They were bidding 35 million, 40 million for him until he started to get some minutes in January. Um, he wanted to leave. He made it very clear that he wanted to leave. We'd rejected bid after bid after bid from Bayern Munich and we started playing him a little bit more. And he's been very, very, very good for us, especially in the Europa League. 
Now, I'm pretty sure Lampard's going to be playing him more with the likes of Hazard, who's left. I don't know if William's going to be playing all that much. Um, sure, we've got Pedro. I think he has a very good chance of breaking into the um, into the first 11 this year. Now, I don't know a lot about this guy, Reese James. Uh, he was loaned out to Wigan and was Wigan's player of the year, starting 44 out of 46 league games and being named as captain for Lactics. For the Lactics. La Lactics? Lactics. I mean, he's only 19, but when you look at Cesar Azpilicueta's turning 30 in August... He could have a very good chance, as well as our next one, Ethan Ampadu, who was in Exeter in 2017. He played for Exeter City. I don't believe he went out on loan. I don't believe he went out on loan last season. I believe he played for Chelsea, um, but we'll see. He might go out on loan. I'm not too sure, but he looks promising. We can't forget that we still have Moses um, in our team. We still have Zuma in our team. And we've also got Bakayoko again now. And Batshuayi. Morata's on loan, as I say. We have a lot of potential. We had 41 players out on loan last season. It's nuts. It's absolutely ridiculous. The fact that people are going around saying that we don't have enough players and that we need to loan and be very, very careful with what players we send out is absolute bullshit. We have so many players to pick from. Literally, our alternate, alternative I, XI, I know it's bloody Jamel Blackman in goal. Not the best, but we could have Moses, Zuma, Tamori and James. I don't know who J James that is. We could have Pulisic, Bakayoko and Mount in the middle with Abraham, Batshuayi and Morata up top. That would be insane. Now, before Zuma went out injured with, um, I can't remember what he did, but he was out for like a year. He was insane for us. He was always that last guy that, like, I remember watching a game against Man United and I can't remember what player it was, but they were breaking down the wing and it looked like they were going to score. They were in the box, one-on-one, -on -one, and Zuma just comes out of nowhere and just does a slide and tackle, gets the ball perfectly. I'm just excited to see what Lampard can do with his squad, man. Like, this could be amazing. Loftus-Cheek has also signed a new deal. £150,000 a week, if I'm correct, for five years. I'm not so sure he's worth that much, but hey, I'm looking forward to seeing the progress that he's going to make. And if that's what it takes to keep him, that's what it takes. Now, with Lampard, where do we think we are going to finish? Could we finish in the top four again? Now, considering where we were at a few months ago, where we had Sari, we were banned for the whole... But both transfer windows of the season, it wasn't looking good, especially with Hazard leaving. It really wasn't looking good. But now with a man who comes in, knows the club, we have his right-hand man knowing the youth team. This could be very, very good. We've just bought Kovacic for 50 million. I'm not so sure that's a good move, but I guess in today's market, that's kind of what you're looking at for a solid centre mid CDM. I'm excited for the Premier League season to go underway again. So officially, the first game of Premier League is 9th of August. I don't know if that's early. I'm not, I used to think it was September that we used to start playing. Either way, we've got a pretty tricky game um, first by playing Man United um, away. And then we are home to Leicester. We are then away to Norwich. We're then home to Sheffield United. And then we are away to Wolves. Interesting first five games. The first one's going to be a little bit tricky, but we should be winning the last four, ideally. It'll be interesting to see what the three teams coming up are going to do. Norwich, Aston Villa and Sheffield United. I can't wait to see how they're going to do. I really, really, really hope Sheffield United stay up. Um, it'll be just really, really cool to see them there. Okay, so this is the second time I've started recording the second half of this video, just because the audio fucked up. Um, and yeah, brilliant. Fantastic. Love it. Nice one, Joe. <laughs> But anyway, I'm wearing different clothes today because I ran out of time yesterday. I wanted to do a live stream last night, so I stopped recording to be able to get that done. And then I didn't have any time after the live stream, so here we are today. We're recording it. But I just wanted to go over the one reason why I think Frank Lampard might not be such a good idea to appoint him as a manager just yet. Um, and that is just experience. He's managed one club, Derby. They're in the championship. I know they got so close to being in the Premier League, but they're in the championship. It's not anywhere near as competitive as the Premier League is. You just have to be so careful with stuff like this because if you come in too early and you don't have the experience and things go tits up very, very quickly, his stature of being a club legend could quickly diminish. Very quickly diminish. 
he could go from 13 years at the club and being a club legend to leaving the club halfway through the season and being an awful manager and just retire now, mate. Now, I'm pretty sure we still have Jorginho at the club. Um, it, it's players like him that I don't know about. You see Kante last season and he was like... He was awful compared to other years. Um, other years, he'd be running everywhere. You'd see him literally everywhere. He would be making last-ditch tackles. He'd be winning the ball constantly. He would never, ever lose it. Surrey came in, changed his whole tactics for him, changed his form um, sorry, changed his position, everything. And you hadn't even seen him this season or last season. He's no been nowhere near the player that he has been in previous years. And I think the same might be the case with Jorginho. Jorginho constantly loses it. He's not a quick player. I just, I'm not a fan. But after seeing what happened to Kante, I can only hope but see the same happening to Jorginho. Where Frank Lampard comes in, he changes up the tactics a little bit, switches Kante back to the role that he was playing and switch Jorginho into a better, more suited role and he becomes an amazing player for us. I just, I'm not a fan of Sarri. Sarri did so many things that I was like, what the fuck are you doing? Um, literally, Kante is the biggest example of that. Kante disappeared for the entirety of last season. He wasn't there. Or at least that's what I thought. I didn't see him. But yeah, I'm just praying to God that Lampard comes in, he gets his tactics right, he gets his formation right, and then we're absolutely sorted. We've had something like 12 managers in the space of 16 or 15 seasons, which is nearly a manager every single season. That's dumb. That's absolutely nuts. It literally says to managers that are joining, you're not going to be here for long, buddy boy. You fuck up once and you're gone. You're out the door. I think Frank Lampard's the perfect man at the moment, other than experience. He comes in, although it would have been nice to see him with 80, 90 million to spend. It would have been nice to see what players he brought in. It's also quite nice knowing that he is all about youth and giving them a chance to come in and play and see how they do and giving them a little bit more time. And I can't wait to see that happen. Obviously, unfortunately, hudson Adoy and Loftus-Cheek are out for the moment, injured. The second they come back, though, I feel like they're going to be getting so much playtime and I cannot wait. 13 years at a club is a lot of experience. So I feel like the players are going to have a little bit more respect for him, um, especially the players that were there when he was there, like Victor Moses, who is coming back from loan from Besiktas, is it? Something like that. You also have players like Cesar Azpilicueta that was there as well. These players are going to have such admiration for him just because they played with him and he's now their manager. Another thing that has come out recently is Frank Lampard has ordered Chelsea to stop Mason Mount from leaving on loan. Mason Mount was the centre mid who, used to, who played for Derby. He was on loan there and Lampard gave him so much playing time and he was one of the better players that season. So Lampard has come out and said he cannot leave Chelsea. He wants him in his starting eleven, or at least he sees him in the foreseeable future in his squad. I tell you what, though, five years has gone so quickly. He's he left five years ago, third of June, twenty fourteen. He left. That is nuts. That's flown by. But anyway, I think he's going to be an amazing manager. As long as he goes in, knows how to stimulate the players, and knows how to get the best out of them with tactics, a good formation. I think he's going to do amazing and he's going to be here for the foreseeable future. It's what we need. We need him here for a few years. Enough of the getting rid of a manager every season. We need one to stay. But anyway then guys, this is where we're going to end this video. If you did enjoy it, then please smash that like button. Comment with all this down below. Subscribe. Share this video around. I would love to get in a little community. And other than that, I will see you in the next one. Thank you guys for watching and peace.